Hello everyone. Today we shall look into calculate table. Calculate table evaluates a table expression in a modified filter context. Prior to calculate table, I would request everyone to watch a calculate video in order to understand better. Okay, calculate table consists of first parameter as expression and rest of the parameters as filter conditions. These filters it can be of three types similar to calculate which can be either boolean filter expressions, table filter expressions or filter modification functions. When the filter expressions are provided, calculate table function modifies the filter context in order to evalu evaluate the expression provided. For every filter expression, there are two possible outcomes. Okay, One, if, if the columns or tables are not in the filter context, new filters will be added to the filter context in order to evaluate the expression. If the columns or tables are already in the filter context, existing filters will be overwritten by the new filters in order to evaluate the expression. We shall see in action while discussing the example. This function is not supported for direct use like for use in direct query when used in calculated columns or row level security rules. If the filter expressions are boolean expressions like which which evaluates to true or false condition, these are the few conditions which has to be kept in mind. First one is they can reference columns from a single table. They cannot reference measures. They cannot use, you know, use nested calculate functions. They cannot use functions that scan or return a table unless they are passed as arguments to aggregation functions. They can contain an aggregation function that returns a scalar value. Okay, these are the few you know conditions which has to be remembered while using the true or false conditions. And uh, with respect to table filter expressions, a table filter expression it applies a table object as a filter. Okay, and uh, we can use this we can use filter function to apply complex filter conditions. Further, with respect to filter modification functions. We have these functions where uh, it acts as filter modifiers or you can you can say context modifiers. Here we have remove filters, all function, all except, all no blank row, keep filters, use relationship, cross filter and other few functions which acts as filter modifiers. All function act as both filter modifiers as well as the functions that return table objects. Let us see in action how calculate table works. This is my sales data where I have this date, country, distributor, brand and other uh, columns. Okay, suppose that I want to make a table where it consists of uh, Canada country and uh, the brand is LG. And I'll create a new table by clicking on new table in the table tools. Here I will write Canada and LG sales. Okay, I'll write calculate table. Here I'll write I'll write the table name. In the filter condition one, I'll write country equal to Canada. I'll put a comma. Here I'll write brand equal to LG. Okay, this is the table which I wanted to see by you know selecting the new table or a calculated table we could say here we could see that i have only the country which which consists of canada and the brand is lg over here total there are 28 rows over here okay this thing we can use it in measure in order to create the uh, you know measure and uh, calculate the aggregated sales suppose that i want to use it in measure what I could do is I could click on this measure table and create a new measure. Now, now I want to calculate the total sales with respect to Canada and LG brand. Okay, I'll write total sales of Canada and LG. Okay, here I'll write sum x. I'll open the parenthesis. Since we have, you know, used the calculated table, I'll paste the calculated table measure over here. I'll go to this, uh, you know, Canada and LG sales. He here I have this calculated table expression. I'll copy it. I'll, 
paste in the first expression of sum x okay in the table parameter here you could see that here you could see that in the first expression of sum x i have pasted this calculate table expression where it filtered the data of canada and lg in the second expression i'll write sales table sales column okay this is what i want to aggregate by using sum x which is a iterator function okay i'll click over it and i'll go to a new page or else i'll go to this page i'll copy this text card i'll paste it i'll uh, select the measure canada and lg sales and you could see that the total sales is 1 million let us move on to the other example by of using calculate table what i'll do is i'll uh, show you the sales table this is my sales table where i have this data and now i want to see the orders or uh, sales which is greater than the average amount of this sales i'll go to the report okay i'll go to a new page i'll just bring the sales you know value which is 127 million i'll right click on it i'll click on average here you could see that average sales is 42.43k okay here i want to see the sales where it is greater than 43k okay what i'll do is i'll show the table initially how to create it i'll click on this new table okay and i'll write the calculate table as example i'll write number of orders greater than average sales i'll write equal to calculate table we could use the sales table okay here i'll write this in second line in the third parameter we need to use the filter conditions here i'll write the filter conditions which is sales greater than average sales okay i'll uh, close the parenthesis uh, and hit enter here you could see the table where you have the sales which are always greater than the average of sales table so we have this 1048 rows let us see how we could bring it in a measure the like how many orders are present okay uh, here i'll uh, create a measure by selecting the new measure in the table tools in order to count I'll write number of orders greater than average sales. This is my measure. Okay. I'll write the count x function which could help me to count the number of orders. Similarly, I'll write the calculate table expression in the table expression. Like I have this sales, I'll put a comma. The filter expression is sales greater than average average of sales okay i'll close the calculate table bracket i'll put a comma uh, in the expression parameter of count x i'll provide sales date in order to count the unique dates where the sales has been done so i'll close this parenthesis let us move move to the report view and check how many orders are there we know that it is 1048 okay i'll uh, copy this text card i'll paste it here we have the measure okay i have this measure where number of orders you could see that number of orders which we have it is 1048 okay he, that is how uh, calculate table works in various scenarios there are even multiple uh, functions that could that could be used in calculate table to solve several business scenarios please explore this is all for now thank you for watching and wishing